I found me cold, <laughs> kicked the cat, and found the boss the jaws there. Sounds a bit fucking daft, that ring mm. Hey, I, I got one and all. I know. Um, heck, I've really got some money. Heck, <laughs> I don't want to run out of money. Heck. Ooh, is there a watch hey, in the room? Talk about the day job, George. Oh, give that up as well. In fact, why don't you just give up, George? Nobody washed them. I mean, very few people in Britain wash now, but nobody washed them. They didn't wash for years. Well, you're right. Um, can John come out? Right. Well, who wants him? Well, I'm Mick, and this is my mate, Keith. But we moved from Dartford when I was about 14. We moved into a house in Stiller Street. And my dad actually even had a Ford Prefect. Yeah, I used to play the violin when I was a kid, you know. My mum and dad used to make me have lessons and I couldn't stand it, you know. I'll never learn how to play this thing. I hate music, it's really boring. If you hit him in your dad and worked in his arpeggios, he wouldn't be the big star he is today. But all right, you do it now, boy. <laughs> Jax, you want to come down the bomb site? Smoke some cigarettes. Keith, I can't come out. I've got to practice the violin, otherwise my mum says I won't become your hooded man. No. no. Yeah, what's that little tinker boy doing around here? He'll never amount to anything. Uh, Mum, Dad, I, I'm just off to the library. Oh, no, you don't, you little toad. You get out of your room and study uh. Yeah, no Jagger has ever failed his exams. All right. Right. Joe, do you think we should leave Michael and Keith together in the house? Yeah, well, they're old enough and ugly enough to look after themselves. Once you have those paper town flats. Well, all right. There's always been a little bit of a favourite spot for the celebrities for some reason. We had, uh, I remember, Tony Hancock and Kenneth Williams used to run the corner shop here. Oh, so late. And we used to go in there and wind them up, me and Keith, you know. We used to upset them quite a lot, I think, actually. Tell me, what a perishing day. <sighs> Thirteen customers and all they bought us a packet of wine gums between the lot of us. No, rare. Some have been using that toilet. I'm not for us to proper air. Oh, watch her. Hey, Charles. I'd like a licorice thing with a pink middle and a parrot shut tab. No. Hello, boys. Come on, clear out of it, you long head louse. I said off it. Ah, uh, uh, do one, Daddy I oh, I don't know. Beat nicks on one side of me, steaming great puffs on the other. I first moved in here in the very early 60s, about 1960 or something. And um, it was it was a very different place in a lot of ways. Uh, well, for me it was anyway, because at that time, I was struggling. I've got three lights in this film. I had a room in Mrs. Huggett's house. I was in what we called Dick's. And uh, do you know, that room it ain't changed much. Mind you, she's got rid of the syrup tins. And uh, Laurence Olivier lived here at that time, in, in, in the house where Jack now lives. Whilst he was doing the entertainer. I didn't find it very entertaining. I want a ton, a swing, and how's about a lovely bunch of coconuts? No. Mr. Lawrence Olivia, what an honor. Your tongue is so far up my ass, I feel like a glove puppet. I thought you were awfully good with that parrot on your shoulder. You should have kept it on for the rest of Hamlet. Your comedians are so fucking clever. Later, Loza. Let's hear that, our wine gums. I said, run to the corner shop. Shoot me if we end up like that, kid. I'll just shoot you anyway.